we remade this fire engineering video about truss collapse into a DVD because the firefighting dangers of the truss continue to be the number one safety concern in the fire service. For example, the largest number of firefighters killed in a truss roof collapse occurred in Brockton, Massachusetts in 1946. Thirteen firefighters were killed when the truss roof of the Strand Theater collapsed. Since the original fire engineering video was produced, the following firefighters have been killed fighting fires in buildings with lightweight truss construction. Joseph Boswell, James Hill, Memphis, Tennessee, 1993. Strawn Nutter, Louisville, Kentucky, 1994. John Hudgens, Frank Young, Chesapeake, Virginia, 1996. Edward Ramos, Brantford, Connecticut, 1996. Brent Chesney, Forsyth County, Georgia, 1996. Gary Sanders, Brian Collins, Philip Dean, Lake Worth, Texas, 1999. Louis Mayo, Kimberly Smith, Houston, Texas, 2000. And on March 7, 2002, two upstate New York firefighters, John Ginichetti and Tim Lynch, were added to this tragic list. There are three ways a burning truss can collapse and kill firefighters. A burning truss can collapse beneath firefighters working on a roof or a floor. And a burning truss can collapse on top of firefighters inside a building. And a burning truss can collapse and push out a wall and kill firefighters outside the burning building. If you as a fire officer view this fire engineering DVD with your firefighters and cover the questions for discussion posted at the end of the program and correctly answer the multiple choice quiz in the booklet, the chances of firefighters in your command being killed or injured by a truss collapse can be reduced.